Welcome to the Jelvix channel. Could you imagine if the battles between the frameworks were resolved in court? Today, we'll be doing exactly that. Let's imagine ourselves in a court hearing the case of the two frameworks, Svelte versus View. It might not have such a grand publicity scale as the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case, but for the Jelvix team, it's been way more controversial. So let's get it going. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Use the super thanks feature to support us so we can deliver more great content. First, it's important to point out that both Vue and Svelte are JavaScript frameworks used for building user interfaces. However, they have distinct differences in their design philosophy, approach to development, and learning curve. Let's view some of their core differences in framework design. This is where the core trial begins. First of all, Vue.js is a progressive framework, meaning you can gradually adopt its features into an existing project. It uses a virtual DOM for efficient rendering to build interactive applications with ease. It also utilizes templates and offers a clear separation of concerns between HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Server-side rendering is widely supported, unlike Svelte. Svelte, on the other hand, is a compiler-based framework. Unlike Vue, it focuses on writing components as close to HTML and CSS as possible. Besides, Svelte doesn't rely on a virtual DOM but compiles components directly to DOM manipulation. So what accusations did Jelvix developers bring to the court against each of the frameworks? Framework-specific syntax, scoped CSS complexity, view reactivity system, managing global CSS variables, and state management. All these processes are claimed to be not easy to handle in Vue compared to Svelte, especially for newcomer developers. Besides, there's a range of factors affecting the Vue app performance, which, obviously, the Jelvix developers are not happy with. Those aspects include runtime overhead, bundle size, initial load performance, building the runtime, and others. Svelte, in turn, offers an innovative compiler-based approach, offering unique advantages in terms of optimizing code and reducing runtime overhead. It's called the framework to write faster JavaScript for a reason. The high performance of Svelte is attributed to its compilation process, where components are compiled to highly optimized JavaScript during build time. This results in smaller bundle sizes, reduced runtime overhead, and faster load times. However, the Svelte opponents claim the framework is not that great at all. The so-called haters of Svelte address the potential risks of the novelty approach and the fewer, less standardized community resources. Also, Svelte has been accused of being less mature in regard to tooling and mobile development. All of this, they claim, might cause potential project complications. Hold on, here's where the Jelvix fans of Svelte take the defense. According to them, the benefits of Svelte outweigh the risks, especially for smaller projects or those prioritizing performance and simplicity. So who's right here? To impose a fair judgment, the Jelvix team decided to refer to the most objective judge, the statistics. Jelvix teammates went to the State of JS page and discovered Vue is undeniably a more known and used framework. By 2021, only 0.4% never heard of it, compared to the 6.5% of those who knew anything about Svelte. Moreover, 41% of all respondents mentioned they would use Vue.js again, while only 17.8% said so regarding Svelte. However, the statistics show there's more than twice as much interest in Svelte. And even though the growth dynamics of Vue.js are greater than the growth of Svelte over the last couple of years, the data shows Vue has an almost five times faster growing number of those who would never use the framework again. If the data could speak, here's what it would tell us. While Vue.js currently has a bigger developer community, 
Svelte keeps becoming more of a trend across the IT community, and the low numbers of its dissatisfied users vividly show that Svelte might keep strengthening its positions on the market in the recent future. The given data provided great insights for the Jelvix team, but it's not enough for their curious minds. So the next question arose, how can developers identify which framework would be better for the specific use case? Well, we've got you covered. Have a look at a brief checklist that could make you make the right choice if you're considering Vue or Svelte. Next, we recommend watching another video comparing Vue and React. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.